Hello guys, you're welcome to the fourth video in this series. And you know, what did we do in the last video? We created our background, okay? We had our parallel scrolling and set up parallax scrolling. I need to know how to pronounce that thing right, okay? Parallax scrolling. <laughs> okay, so we uh, we set up our parallax scrolling and uh, so that works right now. Uh, so what we want to do next in this uh, video is to create our player on the screen. Uh, we want to create our player and make him move on the screen, basically. So let's start looking at that. I'm going to create a player H right here. And we have a player class. Uh, I have to do this indentation thing again. Move the ugly private. Basically, uh, I'm just going to make a structure. Avoid init. Avoid update. Avoid window configuration. Avoid render. Avoid this. So, this is all the functions or the methods our player is going to have for now. Okay. Now, what are the things we need for, for a player? We need an X, we need a Y, we, need, we also need a radius for my player. Uh, then we need a so DX, so DY. Okay, nice. Uh, and then for the reasons for like the position, uh, position, and size. And then this one we have, uh, for this one we have like the vector. Or movement or vector okay. and then here we're gonna have the movement uh, so the left so sometimes the player is moving left the right up down cool so let's quickly go initialize my player the cpp the cpp Then let's get my source orientation for Ooh. I hope they fix that makes sense. Hopefully. So here, right here, next. Okay. Now for my init, I'm gonna set my x to be equal to 30 pixels. My y is gonna be equal to my game uh, to my game with divided by uh, sorry, game height divided by two. Uh, basically So for my Allegro header file, I'm going to go back and uh, okay, well, that's all I need. Actually, I need to create this. Yeah, I also need this one too. Cool. Okay, so what am I doing next? I'll set up my X and Y. The X is zero. I'm going to try to figure out what values to put here in a minute. Uh, so what else do we have to populate the left, right, top, and bottom? Left, plus right, plus up, down, which is the default. So we need to add some other calls at the beginning of our game. OK. Um, so I'm going to set the x5. Okay. Okay. And uh, I forgot to give the uh, update. And then this one is just the uh, 
left. So y plus equals dy. Remember dx and dy is set to zero right here. Okay. So if left ds equals to minus p, if right ds equals to p, pretty much. Now if we're going enough, dy equals to minus p. Uh, if we're going down, dy equals to p. But then we need to have else dx equals to zero. If we're not going up or down, then dx equals to zero. Right? Then the next thing we do here is uh, yeah, so handle input. Uh, so the way I'm gonna do the handle input thing is uh, I'm gonna put my logo I mean, logo keyboard. Oh, we have not included any header file here. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna remove the one at the top here since we already have that included. So uh, that helps me keep a keyboard stake right here. So we'll get keyboard state. This one is state. Good. If we'll key down. So that will open. So it will key down. If this returns true, then it means the left key was uh, is held down. Uh, the left arrow key was was held down. But if it's not held down, then left will be set to false. That's uh, what the short version is doing. All right. So render. Well, to render, uh, put it on the screen. It's very simple. And yeah, draw a circle. Well, I'm just gonna draw. Okay, then first gonna draw a few circles. So this is gonna be X, Y, videos. Did I say my previous videos yet? No, I didn't. I forgot. Videos equals this will be like 10. Let's see how big it's gonna be. 10, then here my I'm gonna use blue. Uh, so I'm already going to use the black Oh, I just did the best. Then that one takes just uh, one more one is the highest. So zero, zero. one is the maximum. Okay. 
Uh, with that said, make sure you read up on the difference between your map RGB and your map RGBF. Okay, and it's in the other little documentation, so read up on it. Um, so we draw a few circle like this, and um, what else do we do? You know, draw a circle. So after drawing our field circle, we're going to just draw the same thing for a circle. X, Y, previous, pretty much, M, R, G, B. But this time, we're going to keep the colors different. Okay. Uh, you know, something like uh, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4. I don't know what color that's going to give me, but we'll see. And the thickness here is going to be different. So it looks like. Alright, there's nothing to dispose because we're not allocating any object in our player. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go to my game. And uh, oops, we can do it here. We're going to do it in our header file. And So here, I'm going to do in my next player. Now, the reason I'm not making my player a pointer is because it doesn't, I mean, the constructor is empty, as you can see. So I don't have to allocate anything to the player's constructor. That's why I did it like that. And we have to update. So hopefully that's going to work fine. Here I just can do two and three at the end of and three at the screws. So if we ever need anything, uh, if we ever need to put anything in there, we already have. If we ever need to dispose anything, it automatically disposes for us. And we put it in player's disposal bottom. So let's run this and see. Oh, before we do that, let me add player the CPU. Place and then let's run and see if it works. Okay, so we have error and define reference to of the draw field circle. Cool. Another uh, this time we need to add uh, another add on we need to link. So let's initialize that add on. Let me do add on. Five, come to here, and show you into a regular and that'll work fine, just fine. Okay, there you go. There's our player. Uh, but I don't like the uh, border; it's not showing clearly. So I'm gonna come right here and change this to all white. All right. So this set is to one, 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 pretty much. Now let's see what happens. There. Cool. Now I have my player. And you can see it's moving on the screen. Everything seems to be working as expected. All right, the players can move right now, but you see you can move out of the screen. So we haven't done the constraint yet. I think we should do that right now. Okay. Uh, I think we still got enough time to do that. Yes. So let's do the constraint. Cool. Axis zero. Well, zero. Oh, sorry. If y is not in the radius, I have zero. If x plus radius is greater than the radius, well, this equals to the So what is this doing? We're constraining our player to the bounds of our screen. Let's see if that works fine. Okay. So seems to work, but now it is crashing. So I think if I say this time, 
And the difference is there's no radius. I said x to be 0, come on. x will be equal to radius. x can be 0, let's see. Cool. I see that works as so expected. Alright. The top also works as expected. Let's see if this works. Oh, this one also works as expected. And so does the bar. So now my player cannot pass, you know, the confines of our screen. Cool. Alright. That's awesome. Uh, so I think that wraps up this video. So you, you know, this is basic stuff. There's not much to explain. You know, we just train a bunch of uh, x, y, adding up and subtraction, and then the input shift. So there's not much to explain with my uh, regards to my player class. But if you don't understand this, watch this video again. And if you have any question, drop it in the comment section below. And uh, have a nice day. See you guys in the next video.